Dear Dina, I'm a mother of two, divorced for a year. My heart was still mending from the betrayal when my ex had an affair with his now fiancé. It was a messy breakup and we barely talked, but we kept the kids out of the drama. But now I received an email from him stating that he and his fiancé plan to take engagement photos and want to include our kids. I'm appalled. These are engagement photos, not wedding pictures. He's crossing a boundary that should not be crossed like he's trying to imply the kids endorse this engagement. This woman destroyed my marriage and broke my heart. And now the kids would be uncomfortable too. My head is spinning. What can I do? Signed, divorced in Damascus. Oh, this is hard. I, I, you can almost hear the hurt in your words as you write this, dear Dina. And so I am very sorry. I'm very sad about this horrible situation. Divorce is never good. Um, it's even worse, obviously, when it involves such betrayal like this. And now your whole family is sucked into this world of just, yeah. So I, can, I can't even imagine what you're going through. I'm so sorry. As far as the photos, the engagement photos, what he's trying to do, I don't know if he's trying to make it so that your kids are endorsing it. I don't know that your kids feel this way. Do you know that for a fact? You need to have a conversation with your children and say, mm. this is the situation. How do you feel about this? Yeah, that's going to be tough because she's all rejecting her feelings onto her kids and they're not going to want to disappoint her. So I wouldn't, your kid, look, there's no endorsement. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter. Your kid, it doesn't at all. They're, it's their father. It's their father. So he's including them. And I think that that's great. And you're, but you can't project your betrayal onto the children. He is still their father. And when you're saying, uh, we didn't speak, but it was a barely, we barely talked, but we kept the kids out of the drama. I don't think you did. And I don't think you can. You, there's a lot of pain. It is still raw, a time later, obviously. And you need to, Truly leave the kids out of it. I, unless your child comes to you of their own volition and says, I don't want to do this, stay out of it. Well, and I think earlier about the age does matter. There's an emotional maturity. There's your emotional IQ as opposed to you just your age, right? There's your emotional age and your actual age. And when there's a traumatic situation like this, sometimes kids get trapped in... Uh, in a mindset of where they were when things were, were better. And so it could be that she's trying to protect her kids from emotional, even more stress that they can't even handle what this situation is. I, I don't I, believe, I don't believe that. I think that it's, well, in, in, yeah. in any event, look, we don't know if that's helpful for you, whether or not you decide to just not worry about it and keep, keep your, your mouth shut. Or if you decide to have a conversation with your kids, it is your decision, and we are we are really sorry about what you're going through. It is not fun for mm -mm, sure. Dear, no, dear Dina, if you've got something, well, we're here at least. You have listening friends, and you can reach out to us. You can find it under the features tab at key103radio.com.